So good evening and welcome down to part two here at Stockport Golf Club with myself, Rick Shields and Peter Finch. We are doing these exclusive videos for Golf Monthly's YouTube channel in our month's takeover in August and we've picked a beautiful evening to play some golf. Beautiful evening and a beautiful course. If you've not checked out part one, guys, I'm currently level. And do it up here. Rick is currently two, two over. Mm, interesting two over. Two over, but learning. And that's the key of these vlogs. Thanks, Pete. That's the key of these vlogs. We're on you keep quest. me going. You, you keep me going. So, yeah, we, we've decided to challenge ourselves to, to become the greatest golfers we can become to qualify for the Open next year. And every shot, every round, we have to keep learning from it, keep improving from it, and therefore keep getting better from it. So we are now here on the fourth hole, 405 yards, slight dog leg to the right. The bunker that you can probably just about make out, if I zoom in, that would be easier. Uh, it's 233 yards to carry that bunker, and then the hole goes right from there. We've never played this course, so we're not sure what happens after that. It's pretty much just to the left of that bunker. Yeah, something. slight wind off the left. You want to knock it just over the corner of that bunker would be perfect. I'm on it. You've got it. Hit it wind. Mm, Drew turned it into the breeze, into the trees as it popped out. Then came straight down on me. Yeah, we heard the, heard the rattle just up the tree side there on the left. Kind of turned it. I was doing this the other day. I've changed me swing around quite a bit. And I'm certainly holding it into the wind a lot easier now, but I'm still kind of playing for it mentally. Yeah. So I just need to aim a bit straighter. I'm going to take the corner of that bunker as my line. Okay. Give it a rip, Shieldsy. Yeah, all right. I'm just going to get back on track. Yeah. Beautiful backdrop as well to this one. Well, I'd say that's pretty much perfect. Yeah, seems all right. Yeah. The wind didn't quite touch it. It kind of stayed on that line, didn't it? So it was a cracking strike there. Mm, hit that well. So we'll go see. Rampier, so pushed, pulled it into the, uh, a little bit of trouble here at the left. <laughs> the abyss. <laughs> I think you knocked on this tree, it's dropped back down, it's put you, it's blocked you out from the pin. The pin, you can see, ladies and gentlemen, is just through that gap. It's actually two pins, but I think we're only playing to one of them. <laughs> uh, Pete's 170 odd yards away. Yeah. Uh, what are you thinking? 173. I'm going to just try to play a, a, effectively a snap up with a six iron to try and get it up and around the front edge. The only disconcerting thing is I'm hitting it right towards some tree, so I've really got to commit and hook this around. Yeah, it's got to be moving some. It's not made easy by the fact the wind's coming uh, the other way. But yeah. <laughs> Everything. The good news is the ball's above your feet, so it's helping a touch. So a big snap hook. You know what? I'm feeling pretty comfortable about it, though. This is a shot I can play. Yeah, and he's done it. And he's done it. It's got snagged up in the trees, but it's down there. See it running down the fair. Oh, you might have just missed it. It went into a little hollow about there. So he's not far from That's the pin at all. That's absolutely, you just took that bit of debris out there, that bit of tree. I just, I just snicked the tree, didn't I? It's good enough. Yep, it's fine. So Rick has how far left in? 105, 105. 105, but... Um, this is course, this is knowing the golf course, isn't it? Absolutely. So we both thought, well, this is the line we're both aiming for. thought you did an absolutely fantastic drive there, but... Unfortunately, it's come the to slope, rest. It does slow quite a bit, but I don't know. It's a tricky one. This. You've got to really take it. You've got to really take the corner, haven't you, to get it over with? Or lay up. Or lay up. I think you lay up short of the bunker. Lay up a long way back, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to try and run this on the front edge. Uh, got a pitching wedge, going to play it super low. Okay. And hopefully it skips and hops and does what it needs to do. You got a good line on that? Yeah, it's a decent line. It's a decent lie. Okay. Just need to get it on the front and whip it around a touch. Keep it mega low. It's just come out straight. Dead straight. Oh. They're okay actually. It's pitched over the bunker. That was a shame. 
Just didn't get the turn. I don't, I don't know if I was mean, meaning to kind of maybe knock it that far right. You could have gone yeah. a little bit straighter at it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So Pete's done really well to get here. Really well, actually. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. So you got a little pitch up the green. Um, green's coming back into you, so it should help stop the ball of touch. Yeah, by the way these first few greens have looked, I reckon I can be relatively aggressive with it, really. Mm, seems so it. I've got my sandwich. I'm going to try and pitch it pretty much halfway up the green. It should, well, it should grab on the first bounce, judging by what's happened so far. Yeah. And then hopefully just have a little bit of release out. But you know what? There's only one way to find out, really. Well, there is. This is testing our scrambling skills now. Oh, it's done. Oh, it's done very well. I'm not sure that's quite where you wanted to pitch no, it, and I'm not quite sure that's the shot. Up. But you know what? We'll take it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> just missed the right this green. Probably didn't need to go that far right in hindsight, but it's tricky when you've not played the course before. It is pretty... It should be, I think, quite quick from there, actually. It should be, shouldn't it? Looking at the way this green actually slopes kind of downwards towards where we are here, I think he's got to pitch this literally. I'd say he probably needs to actually almost kill it in the fringe a little bit. Depends how high he's going to go, though. Looks like he's got his 58. Nice and high. Soft hands. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'd say you were almost... Just needed to land it. I needed to land it on the green. Almost perfect. Unlucky that. Got my putter, please. Sure. Thank you. So, didn't quite run out, and now you've got a quickish one down here. Yeah. Right to left. It's got a drop. Yeah, right to left. Gonna trickle it in the front door. Clawing it up and no movement at all. That was really odd. Okay. That's happened a couple of times now today. Okay, we can take it. We can learn. <laughs> right. I'm getting a bit choked up. Uh, now we can learn. That wasn't wasn't particularly great. Um, hmm. Right. So kind of hemorrhaging bogeys here at the moment. Well, by what just seen from your from your foot there, I reckon this must be pretty straight. Hmm. That was odd. That was really didn't move at all. Though. The things that we need to get better at: reading greens, knowing. What's going to break, what's not. Maybe getting on a bit of aim point would be a good idea. Yeah, it'd be good, actually. Oh, and that did move. How was mine not and yours did? I'm not sure, but you know what? Can't know anything about it. Well, no, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> we can't. It's done. <laughs> Just gotta move up. All right, guys, the fifth hole, par three, slightly down the hill. Yeah. And it measures to the pin 142. But we've got clubs out and we, we've got the bushnell out and we've had thrown up grass. Can't quite work. I think we've I think we've just about established it's slightly into off the left. Yeah, your ball's popped off the tee there, Pete. So slightly into and off the left, the pins at the kind of I'll zoom in so I can quickly show you. Pins uh slightly back left corner on quite a big size green. So what are you gonna go with? I'm gonna try just punch a tiny little light and just do keep it down. Yeah, I think so. And we go straight at it. Well the receptive enough the greens to stop straight at it, so. And if it does wind does push it, it's only gonna push it right, mm. so safe part of the green. Straight at it. Well, that is on it. Lovely golf shot. Thank you. Lovely golf shot. So just a little softy eight. Yeah, that was just a nice three quarter lazy, solid struck, um, <laughs> centered eight. 
with a little bit of salt, a bit of pepper, sprinkle of paprika, smoked, not normal. Is this got everything? Sprinkle of cumin. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just be able to knock down the nine because I, I don't think I can tap it that soft with an eight. Can <laughs> it go straight? <laughs> Rick mode will take over. Yeah. Smash. It's a little night. Lovely sky now. Beautiful. That's looking pretty good as well. Great shot. Oh, a couple of golfers on this hole. It's not going to take long, Pete. We've got 10 months to do this, mate. So after a lovely approach shot, where it's got a 13, 14 feet? Yeah, it's, it's just on the, on the slope where yours is a bit more level, so I've got a bit of swing on it. Um, Wood seems to be coming from the right-hand side. Down? Yeah. I'm confident though, I'm going to hold this. You know what, and I'm, I've got a pretty good feeling about this one for you. Just get that rock rolling. Yeah, I give myself an 82% on the positivity scale here. It's good enough for me. Yeah, oh. beauty. That's the way to bounce back. It is. It is. I'm Lovely put that. Great put. Thank you very much. Right, so uh, Pete also putting for birdie. Uh, it's got kind of straight, straight up the hill that my ball just kind of sloped down a little bit there. Great yeah, distance so control on your iron shot, Pete. Thank you very much. It was good actually. I was quite impressed with that because I think to be, I, a shot I need to learn is a really soft, delicate iron shot that doesn't turn left on me. In fact, I feel like there's a more dramatic backdrop here if I come around here, Pete. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, looking at looking at this, the way yours kind of came in this way, it would suggest it should go a little bit to the left, but not massive. We're going to go inside right. Okay. For bird in to get back to the level par. Oh, nice solid put. Two birdies. Two birdies. I know. <laughs> right, guys, so six hole down here at Stockport. What a beautiful backdrop this is now. It's getting late in the afternoon, in the evening. We're going to get as many holes as we can in before it goes dark. And we're on a par five. Uh, it's about 480 from this tee, so not the longest in the world, and it's downwind. So a good chance to capitalise and try and get some uh, some red numbers back on the scorecard. Absolutely, so it's pretty straightforward, doesn't it? Really? Yeah, right uh, at the big, uh, whatever it is in the background. Big building in the background, yeah. We're going to go to the right corner of the big building on the back. It's a big building in the background, is there? If anyone knows what that building is, please comment down below. We would love to hear what it is. We probably should know what it is, but... Give yourself a break. Down that line. Love how it came out in the sunlight. Didn't see it drop. It was down the line of the flag. Never see it that. Never saw it down. It seemed to drip right. I don't think it's far enough right to be in any trouble. Does no, it? it doesn't seem it anyway. Didn't see it come down. Nice shot. Thank you. Thank you. So oh yeah. I'm yeah, it was a good strike. I was just really determined not to have that go left. <laughs> yeah, you kind of smash it at the... Uh... Yeah. In fact, that's at my house. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you know what that building is, let us know. <laughs> it's my house. <laughs> that's right, it's the Stockport Mental Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> the Stockport Dream Factory. <laughs> right, just knock it straight at it. Okay, gotta make these dreams come true. What a great evening. <laughs> Bloody great. Cracker. Cracker. Awesome. Really good. Let's do this. On it now, mate. Do you think I can get eight right now? Well, how far is it? One seven to that's not, is that, that's not 170, is it? Seemed it. 
it, does it? No. Is that them bungs on the left? What them bungs on the left? One fifty one. Yeah, it's never one seventy that pin. What? What the trees at the back? Yeah. Say iron, isn't it? Yeah, so we've, we just had a bit of a deliberation here because it, it says it's 173 yards away and we don't think it is. We, well, I don't know whether it's because it's downwind. It's maybe giving the impression. But you've got eight iron now, and eight iron for you, if you just have a nice smooth one with this wind, it's going to oh. go 170. I think so. Yeah. I don't know. I can't yeah. afford to go big. And it's par five. Par five. To put it in there. Absolutely. Guys, and look at the look at the way this hole is framed, and just look at the the backdrop. If you've not played golf in England on a summer's evening, it's really good. As long as it's not raining. <laughs> oh, Leaky, just, just leaked. I am annoyed myself because I couldn't commit. Mm, I, should, I need to be able to do that, don't I? Come here. It was like it, it was. It was. I've got plenty of club to get there. It's not done that. Oh. Well, we'll learn. Well, well, we have to, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> I can't miss the green light out on the far side. <laughs> hello and welcome. Hello, hello, hello. How beautiful is this, Pete? It's not bad. Is it? We are here on the golf course. Right, we're gonna we're gonna switch to this because we're gonna play Pete's shot. Ready? Okay, so stay stay quiet, everyone, please. Alright, guys, how five you got, Pete? Um, I'll do remember now. Uh, one five seven. One five seven to the pin. One five seven. It's downwind, and it looks like it's a little bit of a flyer lie. So nine iron. I'm gonna commit to it. I'm gonna go straight at it. I'm going to get an eagle. Both smash drive down here into this par five. Look at that bad look at the sky. My shot, I'm zoom in. Yeah, it came out left, but... It's on the green. It came out left, but putting for an eagle, so... Safe. On the green. Safe. Nice shot, well done. Thank you. So Rick actually hasn't finished in the bunker, he's just a bit short. How's it actually lying? So-so. Mm. Yeah, it's downhill, it's not really settled great. He's just chipping onto the fringe and hopefully rolling it in? Yeah. <laughs> that's right, that's no, what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, that sounds like a plan. I can't even remember what golf course, parts of golf courses are called anymore, it's been that long. <laughs> on the apron. <laughs> I was going to pitch this on the pinny. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. What a brilliant shot. Whoa. Bit of slope on this, mate. That was a perfect shot, really. I could have done much more, I'm honest. That was fantastic. Just, just a little bit, it might have just grabbed a bit quicker on that area, but. Nope, but cracking shot, that. Very good. So, as we are late into the evening, a beautiful Stockport Golf Club, we've got one more part to do, hopefully. <laughs> Don't quite know how quick the sun's going to go down. Um, Pete's here putting for Eagle. You're right on the, uh, the whale's back here, aren't you? Yeah, this looks like he's going to have a hell of a slope. So it's really coming in from this side now. Yeah, it's more about just getting the, no, the line, it's just about trying to keep the pace, really. Yeah. You're going to have to give it plenty of break, I'd suspect. Are you going to let me off if it's the pin and goes in? I'll catch it in time. 
I'll get it in time. Yeah, very well judged. Good line. It was actually, it was spot on. It was spot on. Just needed to give it just a tiny, tiny bit more bean. Just bean, just one not bean. beans. Just one bean, just one Heinz baked. Come on then. It's a couple of birdies again. Well, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Two double back-to-back -back birdies, that'd be awesome. I believe in you. Everyone watching this believes in you. Your look, your look behind the camera there is quite serious, Pete. I better hold yeah. Santa. Yeah, I'm driving home. Oh, I don't well, know. To be fair, I don't know how we got here. I don't know what that. I don't know what that. Into, I, that almost was like a threat, but I don't know what I'm going to do to back it up. Maybe just leave you here. I don't know. It's a practice. So what you got this as, bud? Uh, left, just inside left. Inside left. Oh, it went. Um, it went. Burn, it? it was weak. It just needed. That far past. Just needed hit him. Yeah. Weak. I felt like I bogeyed that really, but it's a par. Still at two over. Pete's got this for birdie to get to one under. Hmm. Just weak on that. One under, right? Okay. You got this. Roll that rock. <laughs> yeah, good put, good, good birdie and really good two put from there. Right guys, end of part two, where we played a bit better golfer. Yeah, um, better. We're gonna head down and play as many holes as we can on the last few. Stay tuned and join us on part three. You can subscribe to the Golf Monthly's YouTube channel by clicking the big button down here at the bottom. You can also subscribe to mine and Pete's channels where we have instructional uh, advice, reviews, technique, more course logs. Go and check us out on there and we shall see you all soon in part three. <laughs>